In a galaxy far, far away, we found the most luminous object ever discovered, ASASSN 151H. Astronomers were left scratching their heads, wondering what kind of beast could produce such a mind-boggling amount of energy. But just when they thought they had this cosmic enigma all figured out, this object vanished into the depths of space, leaving behind nothing but a faint memory and a few bewildered astronomers. Fast forward to today, and it seems the universe has decided to play a cosmic prank on us. That's right folks, ASASSN 151H is back, and now it's brighter than ever. So let's take a look at this impossibly bright space object. This event was first detected on June 14th, 2015. We noticed it in the southern constellation Indus. It was located within a faint galaxy, which goes to show that sometimes the brightest things come from the most unexpected places. It's like finding a diamond in a pile of rocks or a chocolate chip in a batch of oatmeal raisin cookies. No offense to oatmeal raisin lovers out there. ASASSN 151H was so luminous that if it were in our own galaxy, it would shine brighter than the full moon. Imagine that, no night, no stars. Just this mysterious thing lighting up the sky like a giant flashlight. Wouldn't that be cool and kind of terrifying? But in all seriousness, it was a fascinating astronomical event. At its peak, it was 570 billion times brighter than our sun. That's so bright, you'd be blinded by the sight of it even from afar. So picture this, it's 2015 and astronomers discover the brightest object ever observed. It was one crazy discovery because scientists had no idea what it could be. Is it a supernova? Is that TDE? What in the world is this thing? But then, as soon as they started to study this thing, it started to fade away. That was a huge bummer. Scientists could only sit with their theories and wonder what it could be. But then, against all odds, ASASSN 151H did the astronomical equivalent of a double take and suddenly got brighter again. Astronomers were like, wait, what? Is that thing coming back from the underworld? For 40 days, its ultraviolet radiation charged up and increased fivefold. Then it plateaued for a couple of months before finally dropping away again. And then astronomers were like, okay, that's just weird. So what is this thing and what caused its resurgence? Well, there are a few theories. First up, we have the superluminous supernova theory. A supernova is like a star's grand finale. When a star runs out of fuel, it reaches the end of its life. And then it undergoes a cataclysmic event releasing a tremendous amount of energy and light. And this beautiful, crazily bright event is called supernova. It's like the ultimate mic drop, except the mic is the entire star. So, some astronomers think that this mysterious object might be a supernova, but a really, really big one. If once it was a star, it probably was 100 times more massive than the sun. We've never seen such supernovae before, but maybe this star was gigantic and really loved attention. Next, we have the magnetar theory. So, during the supernova event, the core of the star collapses in on itself and forms a very dense object. Imagine a marshmallow the size of a mountain. Now, squeeze that marshmallow until it's about the size of an actual marshmallow. It's so dense that if you could somehow stand on the surface of a neutron star, which you can't because you'd be squashed by gravity, you'd weigh as much as a billion elephants. That's kind of what happens to a star after its fuel runs out. This super dense leftover core is called a neutron star. So you could say that a supernova is like a star's big send-off party, where it goes out in a blaze of glory and a neutron star is what's left over after the party's over like the empty pizza boxes and beer cans left after a wild night with friends. So, some scientists think that ASASN 151H might be something like that. They think that it was a star that ran out of fuel and became a neutron star. 
then it spun so fast that it burst out super hot jets of material. It's like when you spray water out of a hose, but the water is really, really hot. These jets can heat up the stuff around them and make the supernova even brighter than usual. But our mysterious friend was even brighter than that, so this theory might be wrong. But that's okay, we still have a few others. Another theory says that it was caused by the collision of two neutron stars. Such a collision would cause a real grand spectacle, with clouds of glitter and all that stuff. Another cool idea is that ASASSN-151H might have been caused by a supermassive black hole tearing apart a star that got too close. It's like if a hungry monster grabbed a hold of a tasty treat, but instead of eating it, it just tore it to shreds and made a huge mess. This one's probably the coolest. And lastly, the most boring explanation. This theory suggests that this mysterious object might not be as bright as we think it is. Instead, its light is being magnified by a galaxy cluster or some other massive object in space. It's kind of like if you put on a pair of glasses that make everything look bigger and brighter. So, these were all the possible explanations of this event. And if these mysteries weren't enough, then remember that scientists have no idea why this object could start glowing again. They thought that maybe it ran into some nearby gas that made it a bit brighter. But then they checked if that was the case and didn't see anything. So, to nothing in favor of the weird bright thing. In other words, ASASN-151H remains a mystery. It's still keeping astronomers on their toes and saying, you thought you knew everything about supernovae? Think again, puny humans. And this isn't the only mystery in our universe. There are tons of things that scientists still can't explain. For example, have you heard of dark matter? No, it's not a group of goth particles, but it's something even more mysterious. Dark matter is a substance that makes up about 27% of the entire universe. Yet, we can't see, touch, or taste it, even though it's hiding in plain sight. Scientists know that it's there because it has a gravitational pull on visible matter. Kind of like how a good cheeseburger has a gravitational pull on me. The weirdest thing about dark matter is that we have no idea what it's made of. It's a mystery box, except we can't even see the box itself. And the mystery of dark matter still keeps scientists up at night. Another dark mystery is the elusive and enigmatic dark energy. It makes up about 68% of the universe, but we still have no idea what it is. Both of these are called dark because they don't interact with light or any other form of electromagnetic radiation. In other words, even though we know they exist, we can't see them directly. Can you imagine? We can only see about 5% of the universe. Who knows what else might be hiding there? One day, scientists noticed that the universe was expanding faster and faster over time. But it must be impossible, right? After the Big Bang, the expansion of our universe should gradually lose speed, like everything in nature. However, this wasn't the case. So something must be pushing it, right? And that's how scientists came up with dark energy. A mysterious force that's thought to be pushing the universe and making it accelerate over time. But what causes it? Scientists still have no idea. And until we figure out what all these things are, they will remain one of the greatest mysteries of our universe. So, our mysteriously bright object isn't even one of the biggest puzzles. We still have tons of things to explain. Who knows what other secrets the universe is hiding from us? Either way, let's hope that one day we'll learn more about our world and answer these questions. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.